does look like one of Brighton's biggest crowds. But a Manchester United supporters trade has broken down, we're told, and hundreds are not here yet. Most of the local supporters know already that Alan Mullery has no team problems at all tonight. He's able to name the side that did so well at Old Trafford. And indeed, Brighton in fine form at the moment. They've taken six points out of a possible six over Christmas. The Manchester United manager, Dave Sexton, has the unusual luxury tonight of being able to choose from a full squad. That's for the first time this season. Out goes McElroy for the first time in three years. Out to Moran and Jovanovic. And in comes the solid experience of Martin Buchan and Gordon McQueen. They've both been injured, and McQueen, in fact, is playing only his second game of the season. While at number four, the familiar figure of England's Ray Wilkins, back after a groin injury, and who hasn't played for United since last April. Although, of course, he was one of England's outstanding players in the European Championships in Italy. Dave Sexton, who uh, used to live in Brighton, and who was the manager of the cup-winning Chelsea team in 1970, once uh, brought the trophy back to Brighton in an open-top bus by himself. The sole occupant left in the middle of the night after Chelsea's triumphant tour of London streets. The open bus, by the way, was coming back to its Brighton garage, and that, they say, was the last time the FA Cup was seen in Brighton. The referee, Alan Seville of Birmingham, and Brighton to kick off. Their cup record is poor. They haven't ever been past the fifth round. The last time they did that was 21 years ago. By comparison, United one of the great cup sides. The best record in the competition since the war, with 85 wins. The next best, Liverpool, with 78. This is a Sullivan, former Manchester United player. Right now, Brian Horton, the captain. On the way, Mickey Thomas, and a free kick to Brighton. from a Sullivan shot. McCarty. Gary Stevens. Or rather John Gregory. This is Looking for help. And there's Wilkins, his first touch after so long. And blocked by Stevens. Jimmy Nick. Horton for Brighton.
prepared to run him and clearly Foster holding.
this first half. Brighton nil, Manchester United nil. United captain Martin Bucken. Alderston. Movement up front from Bertels. Robinson but straight at the goalkeeper Thought. He's taking his time coming forward. Right through and not. 
knocked away and Nickel. What a goal! That fairly tore into the net. 33 minutes gone and Manchester United take the lead. From the corner, the ball chipped into the goal mouth. Knocked away by Foster, but filling the space was Nickel and first time back past the astonished goalkeeper. It fairly tore into the net and Manchester United go 1 0 in front. Tommy Kavanagh on the left, the Manchester United trainer, Dave Sexton on the back. And that's the first time Manchester United have been in front of this tie. They were always behind in the first match at Old Trafford. One stage bright led 2 0. Final score on that, of course, was 2 2, with United scoring 2 in the last 20 minutes. So it's a Manchester United throw. Gary to take the throw. To Bertels. Two against one. Gregory. Well, it looked to be dangerous, but it didn't turn out that way, so the player knew what he was doing. Dummy by McNabb. There's McNabb again. Right. Real setback that uh, opening goal for Brighton. Gregory, good ball. McNabb. O'Sullivan. Support from Gregory again. Still a section of the Manchester United supporters not here. Through that 
uh, train breakdown and it's Manchester United to kick off in the second half. No half-time substitutions. Conditions tonight here at Brighton good. It's a still night. Very little wind. Orton back to Stevens. And the pitch is playing well. Substitute. 
substitute Gordon Smith warming up at the moment. This is Horton. McNabb. To Scott. Bustled out of it by another little Scott. McCarry and McQueen and uh, Nickel cleared. It's Lawrence and now Horton trying to turn the ball. And the flag up. And McCarry is penalised. So a free kick to Brighton, taken by number six, Mark Lawrenson. And Steve Foster with a headband has gone up with the attack. He's there, but beaten, well beaten in the air by Joe Jordan, who's storming upfield from his defensive position. Back up with the attack immediately. Nickel, and he's found Jordan again. Jordan dummying to Bertels. This is Coppel. Back to Jordan. They waved on. To Coppel. Just about 19. The job of facing England's number seven, Steve Coppel, and he's doing it quite well. Michael Robinson. Brighton with uh, ten players back. Goalkeeper elected to punch, but he couldn't quite get to it. Nickel trying to do what he did in the first half when he scored. This time he was under pressure. Well, that was an awkward ball for the goalkeeper to get to. He had to elect a punch in the end, but he couldn't get any real distance with the punch. Ball taken by Mickey Thomas. Mosley out there, but blocked by some of his own players, as well as Gordon McQueen. And Nickel looking for just that, but put under pressure by Clark. signs at all of opening up this Manchester United defence of which McQueen and Buchan are so organised at the back and you may have noticed there Martin Buchan again giving out the directions making sure everyone's in the right place it's Jordan Jordan with 
Vertles out of the touchline. Jordan's tearing into the middle. There he is. And he's such an active player, Joe Jordan. Gives and goes very, very quickly. And so competitive. Jordan involved in this move all the way. Found Bertels on the outside. Now watch him go there. Sprints into space, waving for the ball, inviting the pass, but covered by Foster just enough to put him under pressure. Stevie Coppel. There was an appeal, it wasn't obviously for 
decisive. The ball ricocheted off Stevens, and there was Bertels to knock it in. Popple there, and the referee judged that play not to be dangerous. And Bertels there to get his first goal for his new club. A very, very important one too. again because so many referees would have stopped play there as Brighton obviously thought he should have done for dangerous play. There's no question of hands as some of the crowd sh shouted but the ball knocked in here by Olmerston, knocked out again, played upfield and this is when the moment developed when Koppel might have been penalised with that boot in high but the referee judged it wasn't dangerous uh, Horton was appealing, and in the end, this turned out to be decisive. Because from the cross, Bertel's got the goal, and now back to the action. Jordan against Lawrence, and Bertels is looking for the back pass. is the player going off but uh, United have seen enough of his influence in this match to know that Ray Wilkins is very much on the way back the crowd nearly 27,000 not Brighton's biggest of the season but of course that's understandable with some Manchester United supporters not arriving because of uh, the train breakdown now Jordan has got Bertels out of the left could this be number three Alberston missed kicked and there's another chance Jordan seemed to be touched on the way through but in fact the referee says no. Well, Bertels here appeared to have a real chance but sensibly he played it back. Alderson missed out entirely. The ball came off the defender. Jordan had time to get back to it. He might well have played it out to the left to Bertels who was still unmarked but elected to have the shot. Now Horton trying to inspire this Brighton side. Oh it wasn't squeezed through. It nearly got through.
tackling on. Lawrenson with the throw, leaving it to uh, Gregory. United 